One more bit of Apple tea leaf reading, this time in terms of their AI strategy. The Financial Times says Apple has quietly made 21 acquisitions of AI startups since 2017, far and away more than any of their peers. Microsoft has only made 12 AI acquisitions, Meta 11, and Alphabet only 8. And FT is positing that they're just getting warmed up. Quote, The most recent of those acquisitions was Apple's purchase in early 2023 of California-based startup Wave One, which offers AI-powered video compression. They are getting ready to do some significant M&A, said Daniel Ives at Wedbush Securities. I'd be shocked if they didn't do a sizable AI deal this year because there's an AI arms race going on and Apple is not going to be on the outside looking in, end quote. According to a recent research note from Morgan Stanley, almost half of Apple's AI job listings now include the term deep learning, which relates to the algorithms powering generative AI, models that can spew out human-like text, audio, and code in seconds. The company hired Google's top AI executive John Gian Andrea in 2018. Apple's goal appears to be operating generative AI through mobile devices, which would allow AI chatbots and apps to run on the phone's own hardware and software rather than be powered by cloud services in data centers, end quote. As I told you recently, in December, Apple researchers revealed a significant advancement in on-device operation of large language models by utilizing flash memory, enabling quicker and even offline query processing. Earlier in October, Apple and Columbia University jointly launched an open-source LLM named Ferret, currently used for research. Ferret functions as an auxiliary visual aid identifying and describing objects within images to the user. So, you know, you could be on a FaceTime call with somebody, admire their shirt, have the AI tell you what brand of shirt it is, and order it for you without having to even open an app. 